reason why the world lacks unity and lies broken and in heaps is because man is disunited with himself. Said Ralph Waldo Emerson, born on 25th May 1803 in Boston, in the United States of America, died on 27th April 1882, Massachusetts, in the United States of America. What Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the reason why the world lacks unity, this was the total fight which I have been doing from the last 776 days. That unity which has been broken inside your body, which when you do not practice your samskriti, your culture, your body knows the power. When you forget the body, they gave you so much of education, they, you forgot your body and start moving far away. That's why meditation helps you to sit and allow the mind to be in your body and then to refresh it up and to see the emptiness because truth lies in that emptiness. The reason why the world lacks unity and lies broken and in hips is broken and in hips after the industrial revolution. The whole village, the whole family, the joint family and the family trees are broken into pieces. The love relationship is broken into pieces. Then there are many somages, saints, philosophers, doctors all came to teach you what is love because nobody knew about love. They couldn't love their own body. When you don't, when you don't love your own body, when you do not understand the value of your body, then it is in broken and in heaps. It's because man is disunited with himself. He's disunited with himself. He's not been able to connect yourself with your heart or yourself with your mind. That was the discussion we're going to have now. Ralph Waldo Emerson, who went by his middle name Waldo, was an American essayist, lecturer, philosopher, abolitionist, and poet who led the transcendentalist movement of the mid 19th century. He was seen as a champion of individualism and a prescient critic of the countervailing pressures of society, and his ideology was disseminated through dozens of published essays and more than 1,500 public lectures across the United States. Ralph Waldo said the reason why the world lacks unity and lies broken and in hips is because man is disunited with himself. The, the rich came to know, the, the industrial revolution came to know when people started asking for more freedom and they wanted the things to be out and they want democratic freedom. They knew to trap them is to give them more than what they ask, more than what they ask. I found the Japanese kids, if it, we call them for a coffee, they say, no, 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 we can, we, I, I can't have coffee. But I'm paying for it. No, 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 but I, I, I'm not hungry now. I'm not, I'm, I, you know, I'm not wanting to have the coffee now. Because in, the, in, in a year they have written, how many friends are we going to have coffee or food with them? And how many, you must return it back. They won't take anything more. Only what they wanted. When there is an earthquake also, all the provision shop, departmental shops, stores, people light up. They have taken only for that one day, bread, whatever they want, not for two days. But in European countries and of course in India, other places, there will be war, bring up the rob and steal. But that was the discipline of the body. Because tomorrow another group needed, the person who was standing behind needed. That control was the meditation. Not that sitting in silence because like, but your physically you have to prove it is possible to have that kind of a control. What you wanted only you keep it, what you wanted only you take it. If they give you extra, it's say no, no. I was giving clothes. And food items to the visually challenged in Indranagar. Every month it is called a seva day. And uh, one time I given some pants and shirt, collected pants and shirt. And that person, that visually challenged person, he looked and he said, 
Okay, I will take one. The other side do not want. But I said you keep it. Maybe your friends might need. It. But I don't have friends, and I don't know how to convince them to take it. I need only one. You can you believe? Other people could have taken. There are some people, yeah, some who are still very good who wants to tell you what you wanted only if you take it. Others, what happens? You know, your car is running on petrol, and people keep on wherever you're going. You see, see, people are giving you diesel, kerosene, water. You keep on dumping into the car. You know where the car will reach. You are dumping, taking all those materials into your house, and you know where the house is reaching. The cockroaches and rats reaching you where to your hospital, to the place where they tell you, "I will see you." I see. You means intensive care unit, yes, with multiple organ failure. The health world emergency, the reason why the world tax unity and life is broken and in him is because man is disunited with himself. Why man is disunited? Because he forgot to sit. To bum to bum because the day the dining table came, people forgot that they should sit together in one place and eat. That they should sit bum to bum and eat from one plate. Dining table brought it. Dining table is good for a beautiful party or in the restaurant, but not in a house. When you sit together bum to bum, you know, ideas flows, beauty flows. You are united. A family sits together, is to a place to grow together. Yes, that unity was your strength. The moment that unity is broken, then what happens? Family is not there. The farmer got four sons. Oh, all the four sons were fighting for the chair of the father. Father came to know. He called all the four sons and said, "I know you were all are fighting for this chair. Now, come on, let us uh, finalize this deal. I have brought a powerful stick. In this stick, can you uh, believe?" This stick, I have cut it into pieces, tied it up beautifully. Whoever breaks first can get the chair. All the four sons tried. First, second, third, fourth sons tried. It couldn't break. He removed the tight strings and opened it up and the split one, four one. He gave one one each to one son, one one son, and said, "Now you break it." All the four could break it. So he told the sons, "When you are united together, it's difficult to people for you people to break you. When you are separate." And you start fighting the gap of that fighting when you're united and you're tied. No disease can come inside, no devil can come inside. When that doesn't come, you can polish your mind, your, your eyes, and your nose, and your heart, and truth and philosophy flows, wisdom flows. And in that wisdom, only what you see is. Your lover and the lover's name is God, and whatever you see, your wife is a goddess, husband is a god, your children are God, everything is God because God is the love. Be united, unity and union makes strength.